Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Before we begin, please subscribe so you won't miss any future videos. Today I have a special one, I think. So the other day I was walking around, looking at the sky, and uh, it had uh, such a beautiful colors, and I thought, that would look so amazing painted with watercolors. Yeah, but you suck at watercolors. Yeah, that's true. No, if I want to paint, I can paint, right? Even if I suck, we should do it because we want to. And then we will be better. I begin to think, what could I paint for all the beginners like me? Something that would turn out cool for sure. And then I remember the sky. You know, because the sky is abstract, so you cannot fail at it. So this is gonna be the exercise today. You're just gonna pick two simple colors, the ones that you want. I'm gonna choose magenta and blue. But also because I love animation, and most of you do too, I want to do a tutorial of how you guys could use this exercise and have a really cool watercolor animation. I want the blue. So it has to be clean. And I'm going to take the blue. And I'm going to do it on this bottom corner. So you can see that you don't have to be nervous because it's abstract. You can't go wrong. No one's going to say, oh, you don't know how to do watercolors. Because, I mean, it's just paint. So let's put more water so they can meet. Now they're going to meet. Actually, I'm going to put more paint because they're way too separated. And if you want to unite them, you go like this and like zigzags. And you pull the color. Pull, 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 and pull, pull, pull. And you can see now there's a new color. So if you put together magenta with blue, there's going to be purple. So that's the color that I wanted. I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna go to the second tile. Okay guys, now we have to import the photos that you took of the watercolor. We're gonna use uh, Procreate to do the animation. Okay, so you have your four photos here. And my, my file here, if you see canvas, what I usually work on is a 1920 pixels for 1080 pixels. So what are we gonna do is we're gonna do this, select all of them, and you're gonna do group. And you're gonna do this on the arrow. 
and you're gonna just stretch a little bit so it's on the old canvas so you're saying oh, what what I do now here you can do a crop so we're gonna cut this so you go here canvas and crop and resize so you have this and you go here and you can crop a little bit more because you're not seeing the other uh, images so it's better to crop it more and now we're gonna go to the last part of the video that's the animation the part that I love so to do animation they can't be a group because it's considered a background so you have to ungroup them so you have to put everything off the group so now you have all the layers like images like this and you go to here animation assist you turn that on and now this shows up and now you have each image is a frame if you don't know the basis of animation on procreate i have a video on it and i'm gonna link it here uh, so you can check it out so everything is done the only thing that you need it is to the velocity because right now is it's gonna go crazy like this yeah go for, so this is one two three four what i want is one two three four three two and then go back to one one two three four i'm gonna duplicate this one and then three one two three four three two and then i think this is gonna be looking better You have to put none and none on onion skin frames on onion skin opacity. You put none and none, and four frames per second. I think for me at least this is the ideal velocity. Okay, so this is a character that I have to animate for a different episode, but I'm gonna use it as an example. As you can see, it works very well. She's like in the zone. So now you have your own animation. You can put it on Instagram, Facebook. So this is it for this episode, guys. Please give it a, a like and uh, please subscribe because it does support my channel. And I hope you had an amazing time because I really, really enjoyed it. Bye-bye, guys. Bye, have an amazing day.